we're back with another episode of creating your own 5M framework. This time we are in SV characters, which is the server side for your characters. And um, there's not going to be much in here, but we're also going to have a database. But let's just get it started with when you are joining. So when joining the server, we're going to register a server event. And when you register a server event, you gotta always add an event handler. And in this case, we will type this right here with MP dash base colon care, capital C, colon join. And this is just gonna be for when you are joining. So of course, we're gonna have to add a function for the event handler. We're gonna end that right there. And we're not gonna pass anything through. Now we're going to do a local src equals source and it's going to just grab that source right there and then local id uh, and we're not going to set this equal to anything instead we're going to do a 4k comma v in i pairs and we are going to get player identity identifiers And we're going to pass through SRC. So what this is actually doing is it's getting all of your characters identifiers. So the Steam identifier, 5M identifier, and even Discord identifier. So in this loop, we're going to do an if uh, string dot sub v comma one comma string dot lens len my bad. And we're gonna put in here uh, steam colon. So if that um, equals equals, so if it equals to uh, steam colon, then what we are gonna do is id equals v. Then we're gonna break this. Oops, my bad. So we're gonna break it, end it, and this as well. And after this, we're gonna do it if not ID. So if not ID, then uh, what we're gonna do is a drop player, which is a 5M native. And we're gonna pass through, uh, we'll pass through source or SRC. And then the reason, so uh, So we're just going to put identifier was not found. Please make sure Steam is open as we are grabbing the Steam identifier. And then we're going to do an else here. So if the ID was found, uh, we're going to trigger a client event. And this is going to be called MP dash base colon care colon uh, setup character set of characters and we're going to pass through source as it's a client side it needs to know where it's going so that's going to be source then we could end this and this is going to be your basic join function next we're going to have a server select uh, which just basically may make sure that you're selecting the character and then it's going to load that character's information so same thing we're going to register a server event uh, we're also going to add an event handler in here we're going to name these the exact same once more and it's going to be mp dash base colon care colon server select and we'll go to this bottom one comma function and we're going to pass through cid as cid uh, i'll add a note here cid is for character slot from ui so cid is going to be the character slot from the ui uh, basically uh, sending that information to what character slot you actually selected from. So we'll do the same thing with local src equals source, uh, just to make sure we are getting this correctly. And then we'll do a local identifier. And we're basically just setting this equal to this as well as passing in source. So get player identifies source. And we're going to actually put a bracket for one, which will 
get Steam ID. Um, and then we will get a local license as well. So in here, we're going to local license equals get player identifiers, uh, pass through source and pass through to, uh, and this will get, uh, will get a 5M uh, license. So once we have all that, we're going to pass through mp.db, which is mp.database, uh, and then dot load character. And what we are loading character from the source uh, with the license and identifier, as well as the CID. So we're passing all of this information to make sure uh, it ensures we get the correct player. And I'm adding all these notes and all these notes will be uploaded on the GitHub when this fully releases as it will help you understand uh, what everything is going to. So next we actually have, we're gonna have a couple uh, exports to my Getty through uh, the SQL, which I'm gonna be copying basically in when it comes to it. So we're gonna have a register server callback here. So MP dot uh, functions dot register server callback callback and this is going to be called mp dash base colon get care and we're going to pass through a function here function and inside this function we're going to get source as well as cb which is callback and we're just going to end that so Local ID equals uh, this get players identifiers, get player identifiers right down here, and SRC, and then we're gonna want one, which is the Steam ID. Then we're gonna do an export right here. So, um, what this export is, is it's selecting, the, selecting everything from players where identifier equals identifier which is your Steam ID. And then we do an if result, then uh, we're gonna call back the result. And we're gonna end that, end this, and just like that, that is how we are getting, so this will get basically every single character. And this will call back and uh, will give you every single character that you have. So, uh, So like this, we'll send back every character you created. Then we are going to have a delete function. So this is going to be a register server event here. Uh, when you register a server event, you're going to have to add an event handler. Once again, we're going to type in here mp-base, as it's always going to start like that. And then we will do delete, delete care. Bottom one is going to be a comma function. And in here, we're gonna pass through care data. And care data, very simple here. We just wanna make sure we have the right player. So doing this, we're gonna do a local CID equals care data dot CID. And this just makes sure uh, passing right player slot. And in that, we're gonna do a local name. So local name equals, um, oops. First, oops, I should probably write this better. First, colon space. Uh, we're gonna add a dot dot care data dot first name as that's how we're gonna grab the first name. Uh, dot dot uh, colon space last space dot dot. Care data dot last name. And we will add another dot dot and just end quotes right there. So that's the local name. That's how it's going to grab your local name. We're going to grab a local source, which is SRC equals source. Um, and after that, we're going to do local identifier. So local identifier equals gets player identifiers, pass through SRC, and grab that Steam identifier. And then we will do local care name, care name equals basically this exact 
basically this exact thing here. We're just going to pass that through as well. And then we will have a local citizen ID. Which I like the lowercase my citizen. Um, I'll just lowercase everything here. And we will set that equal to uh, close brackets dot dot CID dot dot uh, oops, dot dot. And we'll put a dash in here. And then dot dot identifier space dot dot and then close bracket. So how this is going to print out right here, I'll show you. It's going to be one dash uh, steam ID dot, 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 and so on. So it could be like two dash steam ID, stuff like that. So now we're going to put an export in. And this is going to be deleting from players where citizen ID equals citizen ID. So it'll grab the citizen ID and delete where it is at. Um, we could add a logs here if we wanted to, which actually might be a good idea. Um, we'll just add a comment for this. Add logs. We'll add a Discord log here eventually. But after this is all done, we're going to trigger a client event. We're going to call it mp-base care setup set up care. So why are we setting up characters again? This is basically going to refresh the menu, refresh the menu and uh, get all their characters correctly. And that is why we're doing that. Next one's going to have a huge export. Um, but that is going to be fine. And I'll just show you how it's done. So this is going to be a creating character function. So we're going to register a server event as well as add event handler. Inside of here, we're going to have these, and it's going to be mp-base colon server colon create character. And then we'll go to this bottom one, comma function. And in this function, we're going to pass through uh, C data uh, or character data. And now we're going to do local C oh, SRC equals source just to make sure we are grabbing a source here. Uh, next, we're gonna do the same thing with local identifier. So local identifier equals get player identifiers, uh, SRC one, and then local license equals get player identifier, pass through SRC and this time get two. And then we will do local name equals get player name so what get player name does is it grabs your steam name uh and what your steam name was uh we could potentially take this out it's not really needed but uh for right now we'll just keep it in uh then we'll have a local cid which is uh, gonna be c data dot cid and then we will do a local citizen id equals basically this exact top one, but we'll write it down one more time. So bracket, or not bracket, uh, little quote, dot, dot, uh, C data. This time it's gonna be C data, dot, CID, CID, dot, dot, uh, little dash, another dot, dot, identifier, space, dot, dot, and close it off just like that. And that's gonna be your local ID. And now we're gonna do the same thing with local care name. So local care name, obviously first colon space, get out of the of quote dot dot. And then this is obviously gonna be C data dot first name dot dot. Uh, add another quote space last colon space dot dot. And then C data dot last name space dot dot and close that up now we're going to do the export so i'm just going to paste this in and explain uh we're saving license bank uh character last name uh mp dot starting cache which when you create it you'll have the starting cache and starting bank here and 
citizen ID obviously equals citizen ID. And we just got to make sure all this is correct, which it is. And your phone number, obviously it just, just randomizes. Uh, so same thing here. Uh, we could add logs for creation. But other than that, we're going to do a trigger client event. Uh, basically the same exact thing, which is going to be setting up characters. And that is going to be it for the server side of characters. Thank you. Uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, uh, sub, hop in the Discord if you need any help or any more better explanation. I'm free to answer anything in the Discord or even leave it in the comments and I will uh, talk about it next video. Thank you.